Hello, welcome to a tutorial video on how to make a jelly shroom as well as a crab snake from Subnautica. You're gonna start by building a base layer of some sort of table coral. I built it out of dark prismarine blocks with a mix of uh, warped nylon blocks. It needs to be a, about 7x7 seven seven blocks in the middle because that's where the stem of the jelly shroom is gonna be. And then I surround the platform with uh, prismarine brick stairs and alternate them by upside down and normal stairs. I also place some bubble coral on top of the platform. Now in the middle of, of the of the level you're, you're gonna raise it by two blocks and then build it out and on the second block you build it out you're gonna build another layer. The 3x3 three three sea lanterns in the middle indicate where the stem of the mushroom is going to be. And all these stone blocks and polished and the, and the side blocks you see me placing here is just for uh, when I build the prototype, so you don't need to use that. There I am raising uh, magenta concrete blocks up to a height of about 14 blocks. And this is going to be the inside part of the, of the stem. At the bottom I also placed um, a crab snake egg by placing two black stone stairs against each other. Now the stem you top it off with uh, basalt blocks. And here I am hollowing out some parts of the stem while also uh, making other parts of the stem a bit wider, so it looks a bit crooked. Next I'm also I'm going to make the outer layer of the stem with bezeled blocks. On the parts that I carved inwards I use some stairs to cover it up. And for the rest you just place basalt on all the places that you can see the magenta blocks. And next I'm also gonna going to place some uh, blackstone stairs. It's the polished blackstone stairs in addition to more basalt to create some extra bulbs on the outside. Yeah, so here you see me smooth out the, the build a bit with some more stairs. I'm also using a combination of polished blackstone walls, slabs and stairs to create these vein or fine-like threads um, all around the stem of the jelly shroom. Okay. 
Okay, so now that stem is done, we're gonna start building the, um, the jelly part itself. I'm using gold here as a reference uh, for where to place the glass. So in the first bottom layer I'm using a combination of magenta and pink stained glass. And the sea lanterns indicate how far down you need to start to build from the top. So I'm gonna start at the bottom and then build upwards layer by layer. This is another combination of pink and magenta stained blocks. And the farther up I go, the less pink stained blocks I use, and I will use mainly magenta stained glass. The jelly shroom has two uh, caps, one on the outer side and one on the inner side. And the inside has a glowing rim, so that's what I use the sea lantern for here. The inner mushroom part uh, I will build later with pink and white uh, stained glass in an alternating pattern, so it creates some stripes. center around these diamond blocks I only place purple stained glass but on the rest I place um, magenta stained glass so only purple on the inner circle oh, and this is the jelly part done
Now I'm also going to show you how you can build a crab snake. And there's different models for it. There's one uh, inside the inside the mushroom. And here I also built two other ones that are just swimming around. In this video I'm going to show you how you can make the one that it's inside the mushroom.